This fifth set of lecture videos is going to cover momentum and collisions. The goals for this chapter are use momentum and impulse in describing motion, apply the law of conservation of momentum to solve problems, apply the impulse momentum theorem to solve problems, and analyze elastic and inelastic collisions of two objects. The first topic we are going to take a look at is momentum and impulse. Momentum is a measure of the amount of inertia and motion an object has. It can also be thought of as the difficulty of bringing a moving object to rest. If we want to calculate momentum, the equation we will use is P equals M times V, where P is the momentum, M is the mass, and V is the velocity. Units for momentum will be kilogram meters per second in the SI system and slug feet per second in the English system. Let's take a look at a basic momentum calculation. Find the momentum of a car that has a mass of 1,550 kilograms traveling at 55 kilometers per hour. First, we will write down all of the information we were given in the problem statement. The mass is 1,550 kilograms, and the velocity is 55 kilometers per hour. We are trying to find the momentum P. There is one minor issue with the data we were given. The velocity needs to be in meters per second in order to end up with units for momentum of kilogram meters per second. Therefore, we need to convert 55 kilometers per hour into meters per second. To do this, we will take 55 kilometers and write it as a fraction over one hour. Then we will use the conversion factor that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, and one hour equals 3,600 seconds. This leaves us with a velocity of 15.3 meters per second. Now that we have the correct units on velocity, we can go ahead and find a basic equation to solve for momentum. The basic equation is P equals M times V. This is also the working equation since we are trying to find momentum. Next, we can substitute our data into the problem. The mass is 1,550 kilograms and the velocity is 15.3 meters per second. Multiplying, we see that the momentum is 23,715 kilogram meters per second. However, we need an answer with three significant digits, so our final answer for the momentum of this car is 23,700 kilogram meters per second. Let's take a look at one more momentum example. Find the velocity a bullet with a mass of 2.20 times 10 to the minus 2 kilograms would have, so that it has the same momentum as a bullet with a mass of 8.00 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms and a velocity of 950 meters per second. There are a couple of ways we can think about this problem. However, first we want to record all of the information we know and what we are trying to find. First, we know that the first bullet has a mass, m sub 1, of 2.20 times 10 to the minus 2 kilograms. We are trying to find the velocity, v sub 1, of this bullet. We also do not know what momentum this bullet has, p sub 1. We know what the mass of the second bullet, m sub 2, is 8.00 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. Its velocity, v sub 2, is 950 meters per second. We do not know the momentum, p sub 2, of this bullet. We could solve for the momentum of the second bullet and then substitute that back into the equation for the first bullet using the basic equations, p sub 1 equals m sub 1 times v sub 1, and p sub 2 equals m sub 2 times v sub 2. However, since we want the momentum of both bullets to be the same, we can say that P sub 1 equals P sub 2. And then we can also say that M sub 1 V sub 1 equals M sub 2 V sub 2. This is what we will use as our main equation. We will take this equation and rearrange it to form a working equation written in terms of V sub 1 by dividing both sides by M sub 1. This gives us V sub 1 is equal to N sub 2 v sub 2 divided by m sub 1. Next, we will substitute the data we are given. v sub 1 equals 8.00 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms times 950 meters per second divided by 2.20 times 10 to the minus 2 kilograms. This means that in order for both bullets to have the same momentum, the speed of the first bullet must be 345 meters per second. This concludes our initial discussion and examples of momentum.